Hey everyone, welcome to The Creative Season. I'm Melissa and I am super excited that you're here. I am very jazzed to talk to you about this week's topic. So normally we're going through a tutorial of some sort and we are gonna get back to those, but I wanna do something a little bit different. This time every year, I always start thinking about how to finish the year well. And so I wanna talk to you for a few minutes uh, about how to finish your creative projects how to get them done, how to get the most important ones done and finish the year with that really great feeling. Listen, starting is fun. I love to start new things, but finishing, there's nothing that feels as good as finishing. And right now we have a golden opportunity to finish a few creative projects. Now, before you turn this off and think, oh my goodness, I have so much to do, hear me out. Now, at the beginning of the year, we make all the goals, right? Or maybe you make a list, or maybe you don't make a list anymore. But there's usually, we have all sorts of ideas about what we want to do. And it feels like we have tons of time to do them. And then the year goes on. And work happens, and family happens, and life happens, and unexpected events happen, all the things, right? And we don't finish things that we thought we would. We don't finish that home decor thing, those that creative project, that art piece that you are working on. Maybe you're working on an embroidery piece, or a, um, a ceramics, or what it, whatever it is that you like to do. Maybe you also have a few other things in your life that you wanted to get finished this year, but just didn't get around to. But listen, this is the perfect time of year to do it. And this is why at this time of the year, we just have two months left as I'm recording this before the end of the year. I'm recording this November 1st. So that means um, there's something that happens in our brain. when We don't have as much time in January. It feels like we've got all the time, but in November, we realize I don't have time to mess around and I don't, don't have time to get everything done. I don't have that time, but I have time to focus and finish a few things. And so I'm really going to encourage you just like I'm encouraging myself to say to myself, listen, there's a couple of things that we want to get done before the end of the year. I can't get all the things done. I have a couple things to get, I'd like to get done. We can do this. I started doing this a couple of years ago when I would get all the way to the end of the year and feel frustrated that I hadn't hit some of those goals that I was looking for. And I realized that, um, you know, I just needed to refocus the way I was thinking about things, especially towards the end of the year. So here is, if you're thinking I've got several things I'd like to get done, um, this is how you're going to do it. This is how I do it. I hope it helps you do it. So first of all, make a list or just go back to the beginning of the year. If you like to set goals, maybe you're like me, you've got a physical planner, grab up your planner, look at the list you have, and then go through and just identify three of them. Only three. Okay. It's very important. At the end, I'm going to say why only three, only three goals. Okay. There are three projects I should say, and these can be anything. What's important to you. Make sure that they're projects that are important to you. For example, one of my projects is I've been working on Christmas gifts for family and friends. Um, and it's an embroidery project and I have to get a certain amount done and I'm a little bit behind. I don't want to give up. I want to finish. So that's one of my projects. Another one of my projects is not creative at all. I've got an old um, retirement account from a couple of years ago in another company that's just lying all over by its lonesome that I really meant last year hmm, to put into merge with another account. And um, it's one of those important but not urgent things, right? So that's going on my list. And then I've got one more that I'm forgetting about right now. So what three things are important to you? Maybe you just want to, you know, you've been walking by that um, unfinished dresser that you started repainting or the project over here. You know what it is that's bothering you that you would love to finish by the end of the year. Mark those down. Again, only three. Now, next, I want you to, okay, we talked about only three. We talked about just um, what's going to be the biggest difference maker. What's important to you? Again, if that door is driving you crazy, you started painting but never finished, make that on the top of your priority list. It's all about what's important to you before the end of the year finishes. Okay, now, third, guesstimate how much time it's going to take. Now I am going to challenge you too with this as most of us think, I know I often would think I don't have time to get those things done, but then I thought, well, how much time is it actually going to take? And then usually for most things, I'm thinking for the projects that I have on my list, it's going to take me maybe 16 hours. Where can I find 16 hours? Can I block off a couple of Saturday mornings? Can I not do something for the next, you know, in November and December, a couple of nights and get a couple more hours there. Um, and so then once you do that, that feels very doable. We've got lots of hours, hundreds of hours before the end of the year. I can find 16 and finish those projects. For you, you may discover I only need five hours to finish that or three hours, especially you may even get it done faster. So now that you've figured out how much time it's going to take, 
then you're going to schedule that onto your calendar. Again, maybe use your phone, maybe you need to you know, put on a physical calendar, but make an appointment for yourself and hold yourself accountable to that appointment. Treat it as if it were a really important appointment with your boss or um, you know, a dinner with your significant other or with your parents, something that's really, you know, you wouldn't back out of. So we've made our list. We have highlighted three to five, especially we made sure that there are things that are, I'm sorry, not three to five, one to three things. We made sure that they were important to us. We guesstimated how much time it's going to take to do them. And we put that on our calendar. All right. We've got our plan. Easy, right? It didn't take a lot of time. And usually by this time of the year with that fall energy, because we know we don't have all the time in the world, we're usually, we usually know, right? If I need to get these A, B, and C things done, and that'll be good. I want to get that creative project done. All right. A couple of tips. Why no more than three? If I put on too many products at the end of the year, I inevitably won't get done with any of them, right? Focus is key right now. I'm going to do one and then another and then another. Focus, focus, focus. We've put the, that's going to be really the key at this time of the year to get the most important things done. The other thing is let that fall energy kind of be the wind under your wings. There's something about this time of year. It's, um, I don't know if it's the holidays. I don't know if it's cooler weather. I don't know what it is, but I have definitely noticed and many people too. There's an end, there's an industrious energy. That's this time of year. So take advantage of that. Let that, you know, really go with you. Make sure, keep it fun too. If you're working on a home decor project or something that, you know, you can listen, put on your favorite audiobook or Christmas music or whatever that you like to do, make these projects as you do them a lot of fun. It's a fun way to end the year. Finishing feels better than starting. Starting is fun, but there's something about finishing that uh, is kind of is a peaceful feeling. It's a sense of, I did that. I did that. I have been working towards that goal and I accomplished it. It's a phenomenal way to end the year. So then you can start the year in a really good place. We're not starting over in 2022. We're just continuing on. Finally, if you're, if you at all can do this, try to finish up before maybe that last week of the end of the year so that you have that week just to rest and reflect and just be really proud of yourself and what you've done and be able to spend time with the people you love, right? So, okay. Now, um, I'm going to come back in a couple of weeks with planning your holiday calendar. That might actually be next week. And this is why we all tend to get crazy busy during this time of year. And it's really, um, I find that most of us who are creatives, we spend so much time saying yes, 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 and doing all the things that we turn into a little bit crazy, a little bit chaotic. Maybe it's just me. And then we wake up on December 26th and I find out that I am the Grinch. And that's no fun. So I'm going to share um, a bit about that in an upcoming video. We're going to be back to really fun watercolor tutorials uh, as well as some really fun um, end of year mood boarding and um, all sorts of fun things that I have planned. I just love this time of year. Listen, if you're looking for an extra way to stay organized, I have created a free PDF. It's just a fun visual to help remind you how to plan out getting your, your creative projects finished and I'm so excited to hear from you. Please let me know in the comments what you want to finish before the year ends and how you're going to do it and any tips that you might have that I might want to incorporate to my next year's show. All right, you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon.